Hi, in this section, we will be building a real time chat application with the main stack and socket IO. In this video, we'll set up a basic project with the front end and the back end. We'll do that using the Angular CLI. So, I am in my projects folder, and here I'll do ng new and the name of the project, which in my case will be Epic Chat. And Angular CLI will generate the project for us. Right now, it's creating all the required project files. It will download all the dependencies for our project and it will also create a build system for us, which will allow us to build the project. Once this is completed, we can run this project. All right, this is done. So I'll cd into the project and run ng serve. This should start a development server and serve our project on port 4200 of localhost. Great. Now we can look at our project going to localhost port 4200 and we can see that we have our project set up. Great. Now we want to create the backend server. So let's open up the project in the code editor. So let's code and I'll keep my backend files inside the same folder so I can run all of them on the same server. Here I'll create a new folder called the server which will have all my backend files. And inside that I'll create a file called app.js. Now this will be my main server file. So here I'll import all my required dependencies. So starting off with express. But before that we need to install express to the project because we don't already have it. So I'll go back to my terminal and say npm install save express body parser you will also need mongoose but we'll install it when we are working with the database okay and in the meantime we'll import everything needed so i'll say const express require express and then we need body parser and that will be required body parser. We will also need path. And lastly, we want to create the instance of the express app in a constant named app. All right. Now we want to create base directory. First, we will add the body parser. So I'll say app dot use. So body parser JSON will parse all the requests that are coming in and going out with JSON parser. And then we will also need to add our static directory. So we say app dot use express static and we need to give it a path. So path join the dear name and then the name of our directory which has our static files. Right now we do not have the directory, but it will be the dist folder which will be on the root of our project. So I'll go one up and say dist. All right. Next we need to listen to all the get requests that we are getting, pass it down to the HTML file in the dist folder. So app dot get and then the callback function with request and response. And then we respond with the file and again path. We need to give it the path of the dist file, the index.html inside the dist folder. All right. Now lastly we want to listen to a port. So we say app dot listen to port 3000. So all the requests made to this port will be sent to the server. So I'll list console log. Great. Next we need to add our npm script which will start the server. 
So I'll go to my package.json and add new npm script and I'll say node mon server app.js. Now I'm using node mon which is npm package which is installed globally. Now node mon will allow me to monitor all the files for changes. So whenever there is a change, the server will be restarted. Great. Now we can run the project. We need to do one last thing inside the angular json and here you can see in the output path we are getting the output to be dist and then the name of the project but we want our output to be inside the dist folder without any other extra folders so i'll remove this and i'll do ng build which will create the dist folder for us so i'll go back to the terminal and do ng build that should build the project and generate the dist folder for us. So here we have the dist folder and inside that we have all the files index.html, js and we can run the project with npm run server and that should start nodemon and the server is listening on port 3000. Now we can go to localhost port 3000 localhost and you can see that we have our project up and running. Great.